Oh my god. Alright, now before we go into this shit any further, before we dive into this any deeper than I'm about to go, I want to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer. I know I'm crazy. I know I am a psychopath. I know I may just be in denial. I may just be nuts myself, but this whole Ridley thing, everything that's happened with this whole Ridley debate up till now, I don't feel... I, I just don't feel as if it's too crazy to think that there's something that could potentially come out of this. Like, you gotta listen to me with this one, right? I know, I know, it, you can you can make fun of me all you want. You can talk shit about me all you want in the comments. I don't care what you do, you can go ahead and do it because at the end of the day, this is the internet. Your opinion means the same as mine. And what is it? Shit. So, it doesn't matter. But, if you're willing to listen to what I have to say with this whole Ridley thing, if you're willing to look at some some serious shit that I feel makes it that he is a possible, a very likely possible character, then please continue to move forward with me on this same note. You guys gotta take everything that I say into consideration with this. I don't want you to go in here with a closed mind. I don't want you to go in here in, in with, with, with any kind of, of, of doubt or to just, just have an open mind with this, okay? Even if you don't have an open mind, what I'm about to show you is going to hopefully make you realize that there is some chance that this could be a thing, alright? I'm excited about this because I just found out some crazy evidence that I don't think there's been enough videos on. I don't think there's been enough coverage on this little piece of information that makes it so that Ridley is playable. I don't think anyone's covered this as, as well. I mean, I'm going to cover it now myself. My friends, this video is about one key piece of evidence that proves that Ridley has a very high chance of being a playable character. As if all the teasing hasn't been enough. As if all the, all, all the, all the big ring around the bush with Sakurai, Daddy Sakurai, hasn't been enough. There's so much of this whole Ridley thing that's made, that's been so strange, that just gives you an odd feeling. Like, why hasn't Sakurai come out and... Alright. First thing we're going to do... I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. What you are about to watch is basically the trailer which Sakurai had in, in a Nintendo Direct that talked more about Smash. And this was the first time Ridley was shown. He was not mentioned by name. He was not shown in person. All we saw was his shadow on the Pyrosphere stage chasing after Pikachu. Watch through it one time. Watch through it one time. I have it in slow motion for you so that way you can watch. Here's Ridley. He never calls him my name, but it's obviously Ridley. So now, Ridley comes, and he flies around a bit, hovers, and then eventually he moves onward. Now, some of you may be saying, this isn't new information, Etika. What are you talking about? Why are you showing me old stuff? Like, this has no relevancy to if he's playable or not. It's just his shadow. But there are so many things about this which scream something is off which you probably just missed. What we are going to do is break this down and show you what you probably have never even seen or taken into consideration before when watching this shadow of Ridley and what he does. It's what the shadow does that's disturbing. That's what's disturbing. That's the shit that's making me say, what the fuck? Because here's the thing, right? If we go back, let's go back, right? I'm not even going to break it down with the whole history of Ridley's this, Ridley's that, you know, the size debate, which is already bullshit as it is. I'm not going to go into that. I am just going to show you what the fuck I am talking about and that key piece of evidence that means Ridley is most likely playable. I want to say he is playable, but I, I already look crazy enough on the internet as it is right now. I ain't trying to, you know... Anyways, so, if we go back here, right? We're going to go back into the trailer, right? You guys got to keep up with me on this one. So at this point now, Pikachu is running away from Ridley. I'm going to slow the video down. Or maybe Pikachu's not running away, but he's moving away from Ridley. Enter Ridley. Now, he comes in, right? You know what Pikachu looks like. Pikachu is a small-bodied being, I suppose. He has a tail which resembles a lightning bolt, like an electricity bolt. You know what his tail looks like, right? Ridley comes in on the map. He's slowly hovering in. We're going to slow this down a little bit more for you guys. I'm going to be zooming in and all that shit. Don't worry. Ridley comes in. He's slowly on the map. Now, I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to show you. I'm going to slow this down. His claw comes into view, right? And look closely at the shadow over here. I'm going to have my mouse over it. Look closely here in this area. You know what Pikachu's tail? That's Ridley's tail right there in the shadow. That's Ridley's tail. And then now... 
One more shadow is going to flap and then you're going to see what I'm talking about here. Right there, right there. My friends, if you cannot tell, that tail right there, all right, we're gonna break this down. We're gonna break this down. We're gonna break this down. Let me just get, let it get to a certain point. All right, here we go. So now, the thing is, the shadow's doing something at this point. Oh, there we go. That was the scene right there. I gotta, I, I need to, I wish I had a frame go back button on this VLC media player, but um. Come on. Come on, baby. I need that one frame. I need that one frame. I think that's the one right there. I think that's the one right there. That's the one right there, I think. Some of you may know what exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm about to show you the shit that proves. Boom, there we go, got it. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna go into Photoshop with this shit. We're gonna go into Photoshop with this shit. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Let's move this thing around. So as you guys know, Ridley was pursuing Pikachu. Simple stuff, Etika, what does this mean? Let's take a look now. So obviously this big shadow is Ridley. But for some reason, what is this part of Ridley? Is that his head? No, it can't be. It doesn't even look like his head. Um, there's no way that that's Ridley's head right there. That, my friends, is Pikachu's shadow. Pikachu's shadow right there. Now, the thing is, why is Pikachu's shadow so close to Ridley? If you know how shadows work, when a shadow is casted, another person's shadow, which is right on top of it, is either right next to them or in their possession. Ridley grabbed Pikachu. He grabbed him and he's holding him right now. You can tell because this is Pikachu's tail, which looks exactly like it. If we go back to the video right now, I'm going to put the video back to neutral speed and we're going to see. I want you to look closely again so, you can, so you'll know that was Pikachu that Ridley grabbed. That's not a part of his own body because that P Ridley doesn't have a feature like that. That is Pikachu that Ridley grabbed. He's grabbing, he's holding Pikachu. Look at it. That's Pikachu. He's holding him. He's holding him. And then Pikachu gets off. What the fuck? You are about to understand why this means that Ridley is potentially playable. He held Pikachu. If this is a boss character, why the fuck would he be able to hold him and not do anything then let him go? What it looks like to me is that Pikachu was being held and like, you know, when in Smash Brothers, when a character grabs another character with the Z button, you hold them. If you don't do anything and you just hold on to them, Eventually, they break free. Doesn't that look exactly like what just happened? Pikachu walked past the screen. Everything was all good, and then Ridley grabbed him. What I'm trying to, that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you guys the situation is. Pikachu walked past the screen, Ridley grabbed his ass, and then Pikachu broke free. Look closely, put it all into perspective. Pikachu walks past, Ridley comes in hovering, grabs Pikachu, holding Pikachu, not doing anything. What kind of boss character doesn't do anything after he grabs his opponent? Holds Pikachu. Holds him. Holds him. Eventually, Pikachu breaks free. That is not something boss characters do. And if you want a comparison, if you want to say Ridley's a boss character or a stage hazard, you got to go back to how Ridley performed in um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl when he was a boss in that game. Because when he was a boss in that game, Ridley did not do anything that would be considered like character behavior because he was always moving, always flying, shooting attacks, swinging his wings, doing all kinds of crazy shit all over the map. But you mean to tell me that this Ridley, who was considered a stage hazard, who considered a boss, comes in, grabs Pikachu, doesn't do anything, and lets him go? He's playable. That's the only explanation. That is not a boss character. That is a controlled player character who came in, grabbed Pikachu, Pikachu broke free, and then that was that. And you know, we already established that Pikachu was grabbed. I, I just opened Showdown accidentally. Pikachu was grabbed there. We already established that. He's holding him right there. You can see his claw on him. Pikachu breaks free, but the way he breaks free, Pikachu jumps out of the hold. So, you know, he's holding him and Pikachu jumps out. You can tell that because Pikachu's shadow is seen at the top when he breaks free. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get this on camera for you guys as well, too. Um, he's still holding Pikachu. He's still holding Pikachu. He's still holding Pikachu. Pikachu's still being held. Still being held. 
still being held, breaks free. Pikachu's shadow is now over here. Go, you guys, I hope you can see my mouse pointer right now. Pikachu's shadow is now at the top right of the screen. Watch this area. That's Pikachu's shadow, he jumped. That's Pikachu, he jumped. That's his tail. You see what I mean? The only, if it was a stage hazard character, then there would be no grabbing and just, and then letting go. That only happens if a player controlled character grabs another and then holds him. Some of you are saying, how could this happen in the air? Who knows? Ridley has a very diverse aerial moveset. It could potentially be an air grab. Ridley could potentially have hovering abilities to a limited extent. If they gave Lil Mac a KO counter, then what's a flight counter? I mean, at the end of the day here, this is all just speculation, but you cannot argue that Ridley did not grab Pikachu, did not suddenly just let him go after not doing anything. Sure, some of you can say, oh, that's just maybe the programming of the boss characters. Maybe they programmed Ridley to do that for the trailer. Why? Why go through all that trouble just to program him to look like he's a playable character and do something that a playable character does, which a boss doesn't, if it's just for a trailer? It doesn't make any sense. If he was a stage boss, he would have grabbed Pikachu and done some crazy flight maneuver thing with him. But no, Ridley's behavior and his movement in this video is tame. Tame. And that is the fucking problem. Why is Ridley's behavior so tame if he's a AI controlled CPU opponent or rather a, a stage hazard in the game? Why? It makes no sense. Sure, some of you may say that the Yellow Devil is tame as well too. No, he's not. The Yellow Devil, when he appears in Mega Man's Dr. Wily stage, is constantly shooting lasers, teleporting to sides of the stage. He's moving. But he doesn't grab anyone. And any character in Smash Brothers who was a boss character that grabbed you immediately did something crazy. Crazy hand, master hand, as soon as they grab you, they do something. Why would Ridley, as a boss, come in, grab Pikachu, and then just sit there? Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, Pikachu breaks free. He breaks free now. And the boss doesn't do anything? Doesn't even strike, doesn't do anything crazy, doesn't do anything flying around? Ridley's an active boss character in Brawl. In the Subspace Emissary, this guy is probably the coolest boss fight in the entire game. And he doesn't fucking do anything here? No, I don't want to hear. Well, well I, I guess I'll be open to opinions, you know what I mean? This is just an opinion at the end of the day. But I just do not think that that would be possible if Ridley was a boss. It makes no sense all around. Pikachu comes onto the stage and then Ridley just lets him go after he grabs him? That's a player ability, that's a player action. When you grab a person, you hold them and then they break free if you don't do anything. Ridley didn't do anything. He just kept held, holding Pikachu. He was holding him, and then he, Pikachu let go. I mean, and, he let, and then he let Pikachu go. Or rather, Pikachu broke free. Either the boss characters are getting a revamp where they play pretty much like player characters, or Ridley is playable. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. You guys have to tell me. You, you, I know you cannot say that Pikachu was not grabbed here. He was grabbed. His shadow was clearly visible in Ridley's hand, and then he broke out. He flipped over him and broke out. But why would Ridley as a boss character not do anything boss-like that every single boss character in Super Smash Brothers has done as a stage hazard? It makes zero sense. It makes zero fucking sense. I need to know what you guys think about this. Let me know. Um, there's a lot more to this than I've covered, but this is the one part that I wanted to cover and make sure that you guys knew about. You guys gotta let me know what the hell you think about this whole thing. What do you think about this? Like, do you, it makes sense when I think about it like this. It makes perfect sense. And with all the playing around the bush that Sakurai has done, he's not confirmed anything. He's not confirmed anything about Ridley. He hasn't even said his damn name yet. I just don't think that you can just, this is Pikachu's shadow. He was holding him and then, it's all right there. The evidence is all right there. It's all about whether you guys believe. I think Ridley will be a playable character. He is going to be included in the roster. I'm, I'm adamant about that. I'm more than willing to listen to debate. But so far, I haven't heard a single argument that's been enough to kind of put one of these theories to the test other than Ridley was a boss before his size. When both of those things are inconsistent and don't really matter in this scenario. Even... Some of you are saying, oh, it says boss character appearances right at the bottom of the stage. But 
the thing about this is that Sakurai usually comes up with anybody who's requested as a character and debunks them right there. Krom, he debunked him right away. He's not playable. Skull Kid, debunked right there. Um, Girahim, debunked right there. No, no, I, none of these guys are playable. Why lead on the people for who want, Ridley's probably the most requested character in the game. Probably the most requested, if not close to. I don't think that he's playing around here. I don't think Sakurai's fucking around. Sakurai posted a picture of Shulk's Monado talking about how he doesn't like people thinking that he's putting characters in the game when he just posts about them, and then shows a character. Mm -mm. I want to see what you got to think. Let me know.